So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete your Hyrule Compendium in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom very, very fast. But there's going to be a little bit of a catch. You're going to need a lot of rupees. So if you want to get some rupees, I got a whole rupee guide. Actually, I got two different guides up on my channel. I'll try to remember to link them down in the description below for your convenience so you guys can see how you can earn rupees very, very quickly so then you can get this done. Now, before we jump into this, let me just go to you, go and show you the Hyrule Compendium. I'll also how to explain how to first unlock the Hyrule Compendium as well, but you can see that if I go through all of my stuff here, there's nothing. There's not, well, I mean, there's something. There's a few. There's a few entries, but there's pretty much nothing. I have uh, all the creatures, 0 out of 92, 6 out of 110 for the monsters, 1 out of 126 for the material, 2 out of 175 for the equipment, uh, and then we got treasure, which is zero out of six down here. Now there, like, there is a, one other thing you got to do to unlock the Hyrule Compendium and to also be able to even do this, and that is doing Robbie's side quest. If you don't know how to do Robbie's side quest, uh, you can find them over. I'll show you on the map real quick. Uh, we're not going to fast travel there or anything because uh, I can explain it just like this. We're going to go basically to look out landing Skyview Tower, and when you land here, you're going to be looking this way. You're going to go straight to the left, and you're going to go to uh, this underground uh, northern kind of area. It's kind of like under, um, under like the actual like lookout tower itself. Pura is like on the top there, and then underneath is Josha, Josha, have you pronounced her name? Uh, and then there's Robbie under there as well. You talk to Robbie, there's going to be a whole side quest you're going to have to do. Eventually, you're going to unlock the Hyrule Compendium. Well, first, you're going to unlock the camera. And then you're going to unlock the Hyrule Compendium with it. Um, and that's going to be that. So as, as long as you have that done, then first of all, you're going to have the Hyrule Compendium unlocked. And you're going to be able to then also be able to uh, complete the uh, the set the way we're going to do it. Okay, so if you've got all your rupees, if you've unlocked the Hyrule Compendium, you got your, your camera and all that good stuff. Now, obviously, the long way is to just go ahead and, uh, you know, take pictures of everything. You can do that if you want to. But if you want to do it the fast way, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go just up the hill from Hataneo village. So Hataneo is in the Nakluta region, kind of southeast. We're going to go up the hill over to the Hataneo ancient tech lab. I'm just going to fast travel there really quick. Okay, so once we get to the Hataneo ancient tech lab, we're just going to head inside. I think we might actually have to complete all of the side stuff. I can't remember. Uh, if, if, if what I'm about to show you is not there and not accessible, then you have to complete his whole side quest, not just the first few steps, which is to unlock the Hyrule Compendium and the camera. Uh, but anyways, Robbie's going to end up being here now. And there's going to be this little device over here right by Robbie. And uh, again, I can't remember if, if it unlocks right after the Hyrule Compendium uh, unlocks or if it's after you've unlocked all the abilities, which which includes the uh, Sheikah Sensor, uh, the Sensor Plus, the uh, Travel Medallion, and the Hero's Path. Um, again, you just got to basically do all of Robbie's little side st uh, stuff and whatnot. So we're going to go up to this little device here. We're going to interact with it. Robbie's going to say, oh, hey, uh, what a fine afternoon. Uh, looks like my complete compendium has taken your fancy. So he basically has the entire compendium. Uh, we can actually go ahead and buy pictures uh, for what's missing. Uh, and so we have different categories, just like I just showed you, right? So for the uh, fauna picture, for example... We'll say I'll buy them all. Now look at my look at my rupees really quick. Okay, I have sixty thousand rupees. I've been grinding. Okay, we're gonna need I think forty seven thousand total if I did my math right. So I'm gonna buy all of these ones, and that's going to be ninety two for nine thousand two hundred rupees. So those are done. And that's going to fill out the whole uh, creatures section. So now I have the whole creatures section. I can see everything in here. And what's useful for this, obviously, is, is that, uh, you know, by filling the compendium this way, we can also see what's in the world that we maybe not be, might not be aware of, you know, whether it's horses or enemies or, you know, creatures or whatever else. Uh, I'm going to go to enemy pictures now. And again, I'm going to say I'm going to buy them all. It's going to cost me 7,600. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to buy all those. And you can see the rupees just absolutely you know, just, uh, declining very rapidly here. Um, <laughs> he's getting rich though. So whatever, we'll get, we'll get rich again. I'm going to buy all these ones, which is going to cost me 12,400. And he, he's, he's taken aback every time. He's like, wow, you're going to spend that much money. You're going to give me that much money. He's like, dude, I'm going to be rich. And it's like, yeah, you are, you are going to be rich. You little bugger. You're taking all my money. You're taking all my money, 17,200 for the weapon picture. I, this one's nice because, again, we're going to be able to see every single weapon that's in the game, uh, which is pretty crazy. Uh, so if there's any that we don't know about, then, you know, that's going to be that. And then my other picture, uh, 600. Thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, that's cheap. <laughs> thankfully, it's cheap. So I just went from 60,000 to like 13,000. So basically, yeah, 47,000. I did the math right. Um, so that's all the different kind of treasure. 
as well. I guess a well is, is counts as a treasure. And then he's like, hey, you. I'm all sold out of the pictures I had in stock, but there's no stopping an inquisitive mind like mine. So uh, perhaps very soon I'll get some new pictures. And then you'll just have to come back, of course. You will always be welcome. Uh, filling out the compendium. Complete. Look at that. We did it. That was it. If we talk to him, is he going to give us like a reward? But then we get to the monsters section and we actually don't have all of them. That's 82 out of 110. All right, so there might be a little bit of an abrupt cut here in the video because what I noticed as you guys seen is that I had entries missing in the compendium. What I didn't realize is why the they were not purchasable. Now I'm gonna explain how you, you can go ahead and purchase them. I'm still debating whether to include the missing entries in the video or not in, in, in the, I guess the next chunk of this video. Uh, for those of you guys who want to complete the compendium, um, you know, before actually finishing the game. But essentially what you have to do is you actually have to go and finish the game. So what I didn't realize is when I first finished my my playthrough, and I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna go here in a second and show you guys exactly what I mean. When I fin first finished my playthrough, um, what happens is it kicks you back to the main menu. I'm not gonna say exactly what happens, but when you beat the boss, the final boss, kind of like Breath of the Wild, it kicks you back to the main menu. Um, and I, I, I didn't realize, but when I did that, I unintentionally reloaded the wrong save. The right save you have to load up into is the one that has a star next to it indicating that you have completed the boss and that is your completion of the boss save. That is specifically the save you have to open up and I had opened up a different one uh, and that's why it never marked it as if I'd finished the game, which is why I couldn't, I didn't have all the entries in the compendium just a minute ago when I bought them. So when you finish the final boss, make sure you're, that the, the save that you load from the main menu is the one that has a star next to it and then all your saves from moving forward will have the star next to it and you'll have it'll mark it as if you have completed the game now if you want to complete all these entries you know before that uh then you're gonna have to complete them on your own now what we're gonna do is that once we've completed the game we're gonna go back to robbie uh and we're gonna go to this little device again and now there's gonna be a brand new category and again i spend hours upon hours upon hours uh hunting each one i even edited most of the video uh kind of taking you guys through every single one which is why i might still include it at the end of this video if you guys want to see it but at the end there's going to be a new category called elite enemy pictures um and i guess there would be other category i guess this would include master sword assumingly I, either way master sword is easy to take a picture of um and then there's a side quest you got to do to take a picture of the material uh which is a sun pumpkin so again i, I might just leave all that at the end of this video but you could just buy them all technically speaking so I'm going to go buy the last three that are missing, which are the three that I cannot re-encounter. Sorry, I had to cut it there because there were some spoilers that popped up on screen when my compendium opened up. Uh, so I had to get the one for the Sludge Like Like and then the uh, the Death Mountain mini boss, which I can't remember the name. And then, of course, the uh, the one temple boss that you cannot re-encounter, unfortunately. There's nowhere to re-encounter it. So now we've completed the Hyrule Compendium. So I'm going to show you guys what happens when you actually have a completed Hyrule Compendium. Uh, it says, what's this? You've completed your whole Compendium. Are we going to get anything for it? I don't know. He says, I've got a little something special for you. We got Robbie's fabric. Oh, it's gold. That's actually pretty cool. It's a gold fabric uh, bearing a Pura pad design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. That is super cool. So we got Robbie's fabric and it says, bam, now you can use the Pura pads, other features to help you in your adventures. And that's pretty much it. So again, you can look, you know, use the, like I said, the uh, Pura pad to be able to track, or sorry, the, uh, the compendium to be able to track uh, different uh, items and things like that and you know using the sensor plus which is super super useful all right, so if you don't know to uh, use that paraglider, we're going to go to Hataneo Village just down this, uh, the road here. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to go to the dye shop over here. We're going to talk to this person here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and rework our paraglider right here. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to use the new fabric so I can show you guys exactly what it looks like. I got a bunch of fabrics here, so do uh, excuse me for that. That's what it looks like. So it's kind of cool. Um, let's go ahead and see what it, what it looks like if... Um, you know, we launch up out of here. We can see exactly. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so that's that's pretty cool. It has basically all the symbols on it, the horse and the and the weapons and the materials and the enemies and all that. So it's a cool fabric. Is it worth grinding for uh, on your own? or paying for i don't know it's up to you but now you know what the reward is going to be if you complete the compendium uh and that's pretty much that so again you have to uh finish the game in order to get all of these uh elite uh entries 
um, you know, added to the uh, compendium. Otherwise, they're not going to be available for you. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Uh, again, if it did, be sure to leave it a like. It really helps out the channel. If you didn't like them, let me know why so I can improve the content in the future. And uh, be sure to stick around for more Tears of the Kingdom content. We got a bunch already up on the channel and a lot more to come. So as you guys seen there, by the way, the compendium is now finally complete. Again, you can purchase all of it. Uh, it's going to cost you slightly more than I mentioned. I don't know how much more because every entry for the elite category is like 500 rupees extra. Uh, so we were, I, I think we we're missing like 28 or 30. I don't know. So it's probably going to cost you like close to 60,000 rupees in total if you buy them all. But I ended up entering a bunch unintentionally because I didn't know I could buy the elite ones till now. But now you know. So that's what's good. So anyways, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay well. And until the next one, game on. Catch you guys soon.